Hey, hey, everybody. This is Larry. This is day 5th of July. July 5th daily challenge. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me in Discord. Let me know what you think about today's farm. 128, longest consecutive sequence. Uh, hopefully everyone had a good weekend or if you don't, if you're not in America or whatever, then just a good Monday in general. Uh, let's uh, let's get started. Let's get funky. Let's, uh, I don't know why I said that, but uh, 30 days. Uh, let, let's get this July going. Okay, so given an unsorted way of integer nums, we turn the link with the longest consecutive element sub uh, sequence. What does that mean? Okay. Um, so you must write an algorithm that runs in all of n times. Okay, so it's unsorted and you want to do it in all of n time. Okay, because the, the trivial thing would be to sort and then just, you know, walk the, the, the numbers, right? Okay. Mm. Are these all unique? I don't, okay, so no, they're not unique, though I don't think that matters. I think... Hmm. I mean, I think just putting everything in a set, and then that should be it, right? I mean, it is a linear space. I mean, if you put everything in a set, and then... Mm, it's kind of awkward, isn't it? I mean, I think if you're able to check everything in over one, then you should be okay. Um, I mean, in that, you can also do <laughs> union fine or something like that, but that may be a little bit uh, an overkill and, of course, a little bit yucky in general. But, hmm. What is N again? 10 to the fifth. Okay, so, yeah. Um... Okay, so yeah, let's get started. I think I think that's pretty much it, right? Um, uh, file maybe is equal to set of nums, and then now we want to go maybe one number at a time. And basically the idea here is just yeah find a number that is the beginning of a sequence and i think that would be good enough yeah i i, I was trying to think about if there's anything clever that we can do but more than that but yeah but i think or at least how to explain it and i think the way to explain it is just find a number because i was thinking about you know um finding the min but i think finding the min it's not even the min is the beginning of a sequence and the beginning of a sequence is if um the number that's smaller than the current number does not exist right so i think that we can we can here start uh so for start is a num something like this if start minus one not in fail then we can use this start as a start and then we have maybe like a you know best is equal to zero and then maybe we could do a helper function of um get consecutive starting or something like that and then we have a start right um and then best is you go to max best of st ooh, get consecutive starting from start and then just return best and here we would just do one at a time uh yeah so current is you go to start streak is you go to one while current uh, in found increment by one, trick increment by one. I guess technically, maybe in this case, it starts at zero. Uh, yeah, and then yeah, I think that's okay. And then we turn streak. Um, yeah, and this is going to be linear time. You know, in theory, if you look at it, it may have two for loops, but the idea is that. The idea is that for every number, you're only going to access it once. Uh oh, did I mess it up? <laughs> wow, that's a very slow one. Did I mess something up? Hmm, I don't think it should be this much. Huh. 
Oh, did, maybe they had input? Wow, why did it just so much slower? Maybe I did it weird today. But in any case, um, so the idea here is that you're trying to get the... Yeah, oh, uh, sorry, the complexity is going to be linear time because each number can either be in one, one of, in one of two places, right? One is that if it's the beginning of a sequence, then it, it would just, you know, start it off. And then if it's not the beginning of a sequence, then this never kicks off anyway, and, and the number will get processed while here. So yeah, so linear time, linear space because of this thing. And yeah, that's pretty much what I have for this one. I'm curious, how, how am I so much faster previously? Do they just have new cases? Uh, no, this looks exactly what I have, except for I, maybe... Uh, I get confused about the, the casing because I mean, this is just incorrect in general. But in any case... Hmm. Well, in this case, I did a... I did a memorization which i guess maybe is okay as well i mean the idea is still the same uh maybe is that maybe but still so much slower huh maybe they just added a bunch of cases i don't know but it looks pretty much the same to me uh, and here i did a buffer search instead which is actually intense um that's okay but basically it means that if, if we look at the middle of the sequence we just go left and we go right all the way i guess that's what my guess is so I don't know why this would be the slowest, but uh, but I think they just add a bunch of cases. Uh, cool. Um, that's pretty much all I have for this one. They, uh, clearly, there's a bunch of ways to do it. I did it in three different ways already in three years. And I was thinking, actually, during, during the beginning, I was thinking about which one to go. And I was like, eh, I guess they're all the same, which is why there was a little bit of a pause. And I chose this one instead, where you basically choose the one to start from. Uh, but yeah, and there are very subtle differences, but... At the end of the day, the idea behind these things are kind of a, a sort of amortization, meaning looking at each number once, and that would be good enough. Uh, okay, cool. Uh, keeping it short this uh, today, I'm going to do this all month. We have an 800 and whatever it is, streak, 826 day streak. So we'll keep it going. Um, stay good, stay healthy, take good mental health. I'll see you later and take care. Bye bye.